we're now going to practice some of that product rule stuff that we talked about over the last couple of videos. And we'll use the exercises from Calculus Made Easy. You can pick this up in the description. Uh, have a go at it yourself and then compare your approach to mine. We'll begin by reminding ourselves of what we mean by the power rule and that's our method for differentiating anything of the form y equals x to some power. And the derivative of that will be dy by dx equals uh, n, so this n just goes to the front, x, and then we reduce the value of n by 1. So there's our general rule. So let's have at her y equals x to the 13th. Pretty straightforward. dy by dx. Keep our x there. That 13 comes to the front and then it's 13 minus 1 which is 13 x to the 12th. Now let's shake it up a little bit y equals x to the negative 3 halves. Same plan. dy by dx equals, take that negative 3 halves, we're going to put that up front, x, and then we have negative 3 halves minus 1, so minus 2 halves. Now that all equals negative 3 halves x to the power of negative 3 minus 2, negative 5, negative 5 halves. Okay, 3. y equals x to the power of 2a. Now we've got an expression up here that's not just an integer or a rational number. It's 2a. So same as before, we bring the 2a out to the front. There's our x, and we subtract 1 from what's up here. Now, do we know what this 2a minus 1 is? Well, no, we need to assign a value for a, but whatever value we assign to a, that's your dy by dx. 4. u equals, same as before, we're just dealing with u and t. So du by dt equals 2.4 in the front, t times 2.4 minus 1, that all equals 2.4 times t to the power of 1.4. And number five, z equals z equals the cube root of u. Now we'll benefit from writing this as an exponent. So that's at u to the one third, and then now we go to the same song and dance. Bringing the one third over here to the front, u to the one third minus one, so minus three thirds, uh, which all equals one third, u to the one minus three, so minus two thirds. Okay, and now I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to put this as, we express this as a radical again, because that way we're putting it in the same package as it was when we received it. So three and then u to the negative 2, put that there. Or we could write this also, we could write this as 1 over 3 under here, cube root of u squared, whatever turns your fancy. y equals the cube root of x to the negative fifth, so dy by dx equals, again, let's actually, let's make sure we write this as x to the negative 5 over 3. And so now dy by dx, we've got the 5 thirds, so negative 5 thirds here up front, and then x negative 5 thirds minus 3 thirds equals negative 5 thirds x to the negative 8 thirds. And then we'll revamp it like it in the form that it was given to us. So that finally equals negative five-thirds uh, cube root of x to the negative 
8. Now it looks like the question. Number 7. u equals the fifth root of 1 over x to the 8. Rewrite that as an exponent. So we're going to have x. It's going to be negative because we had x in the denominator. So 8 over 5. 8 fifths. And so dy by dx equals negative 8 fifths. x to the negative 8 fifths minus 5 fifths uh, equals x to the negative 13 fifths. Don't forget the 8 fifths here, the negative 8 fifths. And then we'll finally set it the way it was when we got it. Negative 8 fifths, uh, fifth root of 1 over x to the 13th. And now number 8, y equals 2 times x to the power of a. This is a bit of a curveball because now we've got something in front of the x, uh, which I don't know that we covered in the previous video. dy by dx equals, so that 2 it stays as 2, and then what we're actually doing is we're taking this exponent and multiplying it by the coefficient. And that's always what we've been doing, but the coefficient has always been 1. So we've got 2a x to the a minus 1. So that is a more complete definition of the rule, is we're taking the exponent and multiplying it by the coefficient y equals the qth root of x to the power of 3. So therefore y equals x to the power of 3 over q. So dy by dx equals 3 over q, bring the exponent down, times x to the 3 over q minus 1. And there's the derivative. Now we can ask ourselves what format we want it in. And we can continue along here if we'd like. Uh, 3 over q, x to the power of 3 over q minus q over q is 3 minus q all over q. And then putting that as a radical, that all equals 3 over q times the qth root of x to the 3 minus q. And now finally, number 10 here. y equals the nth root of 1 over x to the m. y equals the nth root of 1 over x to the m. Rewrite that as y equals x to the negative m over n. And as before, dy by dx equals, bring that negative m over n to the front, and x to the negative m over n minus 1, or negative m over n, x to the negative m over n minus the n over n, it's, let's, you know, let's rewrite that like this, okay? And so now we've got uh, negative m plus n all over n. Writing that again as a radical, that all equals negative m over n, the nth root of x to the m plus n, but it should all be in the denominator, 1 over x to the m plus n. And there you have it. Ten various incarnations of the power rule for x to the power of something. Bob is your uncle. If you like this, you know the drill. Cheers.